What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. It's your boy RayMX3 back at it again with another video. Welcome. Today I'm in a little little box. I can't really move. I'm kinda stuck here. I got a green screen. So I figured I'd try it out. I'm coming at you from the streaming rig. Today we're gonna talk about something that I and there's gonna be a little lag, first of all, let me see between me and the video behind me. Just that's how it is we're gonna talk about today the number one thing that if you're really trying to play like good cod if you're trying to get better at cod and you're willing to put in a very small amount of work for a giant payoff then i have the tip i have the trick for you and i'm gonna tell you right here right off the bat what it is is you need to stop using this you need to stop using these things controllers they're great they're fun they're casual but they're not gonna get you to the level that you wanna be. What you need to start using is one of these and one of these. That's right, you need keyboard and mouse. That's the move, that's what you need to be using if you wanna see any, any sort of like killer gameplay. The reason for this is because, I'm gonna pull up some gameplay, we're gonna play a couple matches here just to see how it goes, but here's the thing. The, we're going to talk about what's called ceiling and floor. Ceiling is the absolute best something can be. Floor is the absolute worst something can be, right? So the, the controller, for example, the ceiling and the floor is within the ceiling and the floor of the, the keyboard and mouse. And so what that means is keyboard and mouse ceiling floor may be like this, right? And then the, uh, the controller keyboard and mouse is going to be like that. Now it's not obviously accurate to how I'm moving my hands or anything, but that's what I think is uh, how it is. And it, it is, it's, oh, time and time again, it's been shown that's how it is. So you're gonna, keyboard and mouse is very hard. You have to be able to control obviously, no first no auto aim or no auto assist or whatever it's called, aim assist, auto assist. Can't be doing any of that, you don't get it. You move your mouse and it shows up, your cursor is your thing. You have to click buttons to move. WASD is a pitch if you've never done it before. But let me tell you, this controller mouse, I'm also using the FFAR for the first time starting last night, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but using keyboard and mouse really allows you to, you can move more versatile, versi versatile accurately. Um, obviously I'm getting wrecked. Cause I'm trying to record a video here, but it allows just more precise movement. All the buttons here are just contained. You've got, I mean, I can't show you because it's a stem, but primary would be like Q and then E, or I'm sorry, G. I don't even use it. I have buttons on my mouse. So my back button there is um, that syntax. So your secondary or whatever that it's called. But you can just that being able to just lock in right on the head drop the fire it's it just allows for precision and then once you get people close to you you can do things like this just run around them they'll be just kind of there's been multiple times where i've done that and they haven't been able to get me they don't really know what's going on but they're it's all they're like right there like right in front of you, you know what i mean it just allows you to kind of like play around them a bit but that's the thing going into this is you have to realize it's hard it's so hard it took me about a week of uh, I don't know why I'm shooting like a shotgun. Uh, it took me about a week of uh, like sitting here and playing and getting mad and raging and streaming and like and just basically living on keyboard and mouse to even get like, I, I'm not gonna say I'm good at it. I'm better at the keyboard and mouse than I am with uh, a controller by far. But um, you, you kind of have to just Realize you're if you're the kind of person to rage you're gonna rage if you're the kind of person that gives up on things easily You're gonna want to give up on this this it's just hard to keep everything together Because of the lack of you know aim assist or whatever, auto assist because Everything is so precise WASD is a bichacho if you've never used it before I'm gonna sneeze so we'll cut this out here Lucas another thing you can do something called flicking which kind of is like exactly what it sounds and it takes a lot of practice and it's hard um and i'm not gonna say i know how to do it but it's literally taking the mouse and like flicking it 
and that allows you to change your field of view really fast now of course you don't want to be like flicking like this unless you're trying to flick in that direction but just flicking allows you to really just kind of get like that almost like constant 360 view of everything that's going on around you it allows you to play safer and you can't or as far as i'm aware i haven't even seen someone do that or anything close to flicking on a controller uh happen i'm also don't think i've gotten a single oh oh i've gotten three limbs i usually don't play this bad um that's the thing it's 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 like a high risk high reward you have to know how to fight back on the gun recoils obviously each one is different i'm not saying i i exactly know but why i why i know keyboard and mouse is better than controller from a long shot is because my i'm better at keyboard and mouse than i am a controller and i've been controller for who knows how long now, I'm not saying I'm good. Uh-uh, that ain't true. But when I'm zoned in, you know when you get zoned in on COD? That magic happens. That magic goes a lot farther. On keyboard and mouse. Like that there is something you have to get used to, but you can also do stuff like that and just like dance around them. You just kind of got to know what you can and can't do, where your limits are, uh, like skill-wise. Ooh, that sucked. Yeah. That's the number one thing you gotta do. If you wanna get better at COD. Switch to keyboard and mouse, and it's hard. Man, it's super hard. Um, but it's uh, it's a golden ticket, baby. There's a reason all the pros use it. Now, I know there are pros that don't use it, but far and few between. That chicken wing. Anyways, shorter video this week. Kinda, it's kinda been super busy recently with school and work. And life so thank you for sitting here and basically watching play call of duty for five minutes well i told you uh one really easy short thing to make your cod game better that definitely didn't take or need five minutes to be told but I made it this far thanks for hanging out um i stream on twitch uh i usually play better than this um for fans of watching people rage for fans of uh nintendo for fans of call of duty uh kind of play a little bit of everything we're we're doing some Genshin right now. Of course, we're playing COD every couple days. Just hanging out. Got a cool summer thing coming up, so I'm excited to announce that once I get it all like squared away to how I want it and need it. But anyways, yeah, throw a like, and hit subscribe, come hang out. It's just a vibe, you know what I mean? We're part of the tribe. You can be too. This guy, kill you. All right, later, gang. I'll catch you on the next video.